2008 was one of the best years of gaming I ever experienced in my life. The same year I graduated high school, my experience in the gaming world was met with some of the heaviest hitters not only of the year, but ones that carved their reputation for years to come to varying reasons as stables for gamers. Solid Snake saw his final chapter with Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Players across Azeroth stormed the shores of Northrend to confront Arthas Menethil in World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King. And one of the best cooperative shooters ever made was born as Left 4 Dead pitted players against hordes of zombies. 2008 had dozens of heavy hitters for gaming, and you'd be hard pressed to find someone who lived through it who doesn't think it's one of the best years for gamers on record. Among all these releases though, there was one that was really special to me. There was a game that took the tried and true survival formulas that had started to stagnate and breathed new life into them by bringing us a macabre sci-fi experience that blended jump scares, atmospheric tension, and psychological horror into what could best be described as a monstrous masterpiece for its time. A monster piece, if you will. The apex predator of survival horror. As Resident Evil was changing lanes towards a more action-oriented future, and Silent Hill was struggling to reinvent itself and recapture lightning in a bottle, Dead Space, from developer EA Redwood Shores and published by EA, rocked the fucking world of horror gaming in the best of ways. The game found such success that it would spawn two sequels, one which was credited as being insanely good, and the other that was seen as the nail in the coffin for the young franchise. Or was it? Years later, in 2023, Dead Space is back with a remake of the original game. Following years of Capcom remaking Resident Evil titles, including a remake of Resident Evil 4 coming in just a few short months, developer Motive and publisher EA saw the lasting power of the original Dead Space and decided it was their turn to see if they could find the same success as Capcom with their remakes. Given the reputation EA has, everyone, including myself, were understandably skeptical. Which brings us to the question of the day. Is the Dead Space remake any good? I'm Jonathan Irwin Jerwinko here, and you're watching Jerwinko Gaming. Let's dive into the Ishimura and see just what's under the hood of the Dead Space remake. This is oh, well that's happening quickly. You Oh my god! That second one running up from behind me genuinely got me. Like, it scared the shit out of me. It's like, I remember this from- Oh shit! I didn't remember that! The zero gravity parts feel way better than they did back in the day. Dead Space Remake begins with our protagonist, Engineer Isaac Clarke, and the rest of a small team on board the ship the Kellyan, approaching the massive planet-cracking mining vessel, the USG Ishimura, to determine why they dropped out of contact and restore communication between the vessel and their parent company, the Concordance Extraction Corporation. Positioned over the planet Aegis 7, home to a mining and research colony, it becomes very clear on approach to the Ishimura that something is very wrong. Within minutes of a rough landing, the team is attacked and forced to split up to survive, leaving Isaac Clark on his own and balancing both the mission the Kelly and crew were assigned, as well as finding his girlfriend, Nicole Brennan, a senior medical officer that had been a member of the USG Ishimura's team. With combat relying on dismembering and disabling the monstrous variants of necromorphs in different ways as they try to kill you across the massive mining vessel, the Dead Space remake gives you a lot of weapons to play with. My personal loadout relied heavily on the game's iconic plasma cutter, the kinetic circular saw weapon, the Ripper, and a love letter to sci-fi horror movies' most beloved weapon for dealing with alien threats, a trusty flamethrower. There are no wrong choices for your weapons in this game, but trust me when I say that you want your primary weapon to be the Plasma Cutter, because once you fully upgraded that bad boy, you are pretty well set for most of the game. The atmosphere of the Ishimura has been substantially improved over the first time we saw it back in 2008, with the mining vessel overall feeling far grittier and darker than before. Blood and gore spread over the cold steel of the ship make for a constant tension, knowing that any moment another horrific encounter could occur. 
The design of the USG Ishimura also lends itself well to the game's frequent backtracking, making it an enjoyable experience where in other games it could be seen as a slog. Familiar areas never lose their potential for danger, as you could find yourself beset by the enemy at any time, and searching high and low for ammo, health, and logs from the missing or dead crew of the ship keeps things fresh from start to end. In 2008, my biggest gripe about Dead Space were the low gravity sections which took an otherwise very fluid game and made it very clunky, with Isaac only able to jump from surface to surface. In the Dead Space remake, players have full control over your movements in these sections, allowing for intense combat and intriguing puzzles alike. With improvements to everything I loved and a complete redesign of something I hated, the Dead Space remake has the makings of one of the best video game remakes to date if you ask me. So then why does it seem like this remake is so divisive on social media? Hey, what's up everyone? Jonathan Erwin Jerwinko here, and it's very rare that I'm on my camera for my reviews. Normally, I don't like to take up the camera when I'm on my reviews, but this section's a little different. This part's completely off script, and I just wanted to talk to you guys candidly for a few minutes. The Dead Space remake is arguably one of the best remakes I've ever played, and as you can probably tell by how much I praised it, it's definitely what I would consider the new gold standard for remakes. You know, good luck to Resident Evil 4 uh, topping this, because uh, I'll be very surprised, quite frankly. But I've noticed something over the last week since, uh, since this came out, you know? And that's a lot of people saying that the Dead Space remake is basically a victim of being woke. That it's, you know, become just another SJW type thing. And I need you all to fucking stop. The horseshoe theory is clearly very real. Because it went from years ago where, you know, everybody is justifiably complaining about all this sort of censorship and stuff in video games and things like that, you know. Um very poor representations of diversity, things like that. Things have improved drastically since then. But I've noticed the critiques have not. Any minor change, any sort of representation or any sort of, you know, no matter how small it is, you know, I've noticed that the horseshoe theory has swung back completely the other way and now the people that were complaining for very justifiable reasons are now the ones nitpicking every little single thing. You know? They changed some of the artwork in game. You know, they made the they made the pictures more diverse, you know. Apparently that's woke, you know. Apparently it's woke to have a multi-ethnic crew on board the Ishimura. Apparently it's woke that they have the fucking shared bathrooms that they had in the original, by the way. They just didn't have the signs. You know, the signs weren't... The signs were different. Not exactly the same, but it was still heavily implied that they were unisex bathrooms. There's some graffiti on the wall. There's one spot where somebody wrote in graffiti that it's a capitalist hellhole on that ship or whatever. You know? And I need people to understand that that's... You know, this is, this is, coming, this is a game coming from a capitalist company. They are not anti-capitalist, you know. So it's okay. They're not trying to turn you into socialist. That was some world building from the perspective of somebody that's trying to blame it all on capitalism in there, you know. The game has always had some very clear themes of what happens when, with a lack of regulation and a lack of respect for the law, plus an overabundance of uh, literally cult fucking behavior, you know. That was all there in 2008, you know. So I'm just. I, I, I need you all to stop. Not everything's a fucking culture war battle. You know, when they make changes like that, it's not always trying to piss people off. It's not always trying to gain woke points. Sometimes changes are just changes, and that's literally all there is to it. And if you guys aren't going to buy the game based on some shit you saw on Twitter, you know, because you saw a screenshot like that, or... A really popular topic is that they put in, you know, trigger warnings. You know, they have the ability to toggle trigger warnings in the game. They even have the ability to censor some of the more gory stuff that happens in the game. Do I think it's silly to play Dead Space and turn those on? Absolutely. 
you know what you're getting into with Dead Space. You know what you're getting into with any horror game. But here's the fact of the matter. Everybody's different. Some people do have different, you know, things that bother them. And their ability to turn that on does not affect me, and it does not affect you. It doesn't mean that we're, oh, we're getting weak as a society. There are some people that just have trouble handling some of that shit, you know? And, you know, I, I don't think it makes them weak either. But it cer certainly doesn't make you or me weak, you know? Everybody's different. They they have abilities in other games, like the fucking turn the spiders off and grounded. Well, you make them look weird. They're still there. Do I think it's a little silly? Yeah. You know, I'm terrified of spiders in real life. I think getting scared of them in the game is part of the fun, you know? But different strokes for different folks is all I'm saying. Anyway... I'm not here to preach to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just saying that if you're skipping out on the Dead Space remake because of some stuff that you've seen on social media, or you're insistent that it's some sort of proponent of the culture war when it really just a really good remake, you're only cheating yourselves. So I encourage you to try to, you know, just get past it and enjoy a really good game. But anyway, yeah, okay, back to the script. The 2023 gaming year is off to a hell of a start, and it's carried almost exclusively on the back of Dead Space Remake at the time of recording this. I love the game. It is fantastic. It's everything I loved about Dead Space, and it's updated for a modern era. Please don't be dissuaded by people on social media that are trying to say it's woke, or it's sold out, or whatever. It's still what you loved, and it's better than what you loved. I guarantee it. Thank you for tuning in to Jerwinko Gaming. I've been your host, Jonathan Irwin Jerwinko here, and this has been my thoughts on the Dead Space remake from developer Motive and publisher EA. Dead Space remake is available for $59.99 on Steam at this time, as well as other outlets, including Epic Game Store. Thank you again for watching this video. Please like or dislike as you see fit, comment down below, and consider subscribing to the channel. Along with views and viewer retention, activity from viewers in these ways helps my channel and the algorithm, so keep that in mind whenever you're stopping by smaller content creators in this hobby we know and love as video games. We really appreciate hearing from you and interacting with you. If you really liked my content and want to contribute to the channel in another way, consider checking out my Patreon in the links down below. There are several tiers of membership available that range from run-of-the-mill to outstanding, but every tier is valued because your support means everything to me. Thank you one final time for tuning into this video, and I hope you enjoyed your time here at Joinko Gaming. Until next time, stay cool and stay gaming, everyone. <gasps> no! I almost made it. I got people that don't like me in the industry. I can feel your energy. You were not a friend of me. Cause I have been to places that you never wanna go. Yeah, I got dirt on people, but they act like